Hey guys, it's Kara. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on how to make money as a preteen slash teen if you don't want to get a job. So yeah, here are my tips. You are better off alone. So the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is start babysitting. So um, you can actually find all of your family friends on Facebook and post the thing being like, hey, I'm a babysitter now. If anyone needs a babysitter, hit me up. It's super simple to do that. And another thing you can do with babysitting is go on this app called care.com. And when you're under 18, you don't have to pay for a subscription. So all of these people will reach out to you if they need a babysitter. and. It's totally great and it's free. The next thing I can tell you to do is do things around your neighborhood. Whether this is washing cars or dog sitting slash walking or even doing a garage sale and selling lemonade. If your neighbors get to know you, like I live in a cul-de-sac and I'm very interactive with my neighbors. So if you post something like on your mailboxes saying, hey, I'm, I'm a dog walker or I, um, I do car washes or clean sidewalks or mow the lawn, most likely they are going to reach out to you because they like to support the community. It's a really great opportunity. So the next thing you can do is walk around your school and sell some baked goods. Like two years ago, I went on a trip to California with my youth group and I needed to save money so I could go there since the trip was around $700 and I was broke. So the solution I did was every night stay up and make cookies and brownies and find a recipe. So when you are making these, you take a Ziploc bag and you put maybe two cookies in there and sell them for a dollar. And all of these hungry kids, most likely this works a little better if you're in high school, just because they have money on them, just because they go off campus during lunch or such like that. Middle schoolers most likely won't have money on them, but this is a really great way to do this. And then people start expecting you bringing food and you can post on your social media saying, hey guys, I'm bringing brownies or I'm bringing cookies or I'm bringing cupcakes tomorrow. And people will have their ones out ready for you. And I used to make about $40 a day doing that. And I would only lose probably about $2 in ingredients per day. If you put in a little, work at night and then you go to bed and then you have them in the morning and walk around school and you're just getting cash back. One of my favorite things to do is story selling. What I mean by this is I go on my Snapchat story and sell things to my friends. So if I have an old top that I don't want anymore or an old pair of jeans, I say, oh, size medium pair of jeans from Arizona Jean Co Company. And I'm like, $20 or make me an offer. And so people will slide up being like, oh my gosh, I want those, bring those for me tomorrow. And for a piece of clothing that you didn't want anymore or weren't wearing, and you were just probably gonna donate to Goodwill, you made $20 from that. So that is a definite thing you should do to start off your making your money. Just go through your closet, see what you're wearing and what you're not wearing, and pull it out and give it away. You'll make so much money instantly, and it is literally one of the ways I make the, my most amount of money. A big thing that can make you a lot of money is also flipping. So I'm gonna give you an example. If you go on Amazon and find a bulk amount of product, you can sell it for a lot more than it was. So let's say you wanted to sell bracelets. If you go on Amazon and type in friendship bracelets, you can probably find a 500 pack for about $10. And if you go on your story and say, hey everyone, I'm selling friendship bracelets as a fundraiser, and they are going to be $1 each or 50 cents each. Even doing it 50 cents each, you are making $250 from just that. And then subtracting the $10 off, you're making $240 in total profit. So flipping is a great way. This is a lot of how businesses, real-time businesses do their things. They buy things for a cheaper cost and then they sell it for more money. And you can do this and if you're doing it as a reasonable price, people are going to want to buy it from you. So keep this in mind once you make your first amount of money to buy something and then sell it for a little more and you'll start making your most amount of money. So I've had a lot of experience in the past with making money as a teenager because especially I'm 17 and don't have a job. So that is why I'm able to give you guys all of these tips. If you want any more tips on anything else, 
ask me and I will totally do that for you. As for now, thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time.